Good morning, San Francisco. Good morning. Hi. Hi, uh, I'm very happy to be here. Um, as you can guess, I ca came here from Warsaw just to give this talk. No, I'm joking. I'm uh, living here for two last years. And uh, I moved here with my startup. I'm doing robotics. And uh, I'm mixing robotics with uh, mobile, mobile devices, with uh, artificial intelligence, so cognitive services. And um, I am a developer advocate for IBM. I, I promote the technologies that IBM has. And uh, today's talk and today's workshop would be uh, done uh, based on the skills I have. Um, I hope everybody will leave this uh, workshop with some of the knowledge how you can create a, a very simple app. Uh, I encourage those uh, who can follow my Polish accent over here uh, uh, to, uh, to open the laptops if you have it once. And uh, I will give you a few hints what you can do in the beginning of the session so you can catch up with, uh, with the activities later on. And this session is being recorded so you can switch, switch off if you don't want to be here. I'm uh, recording my screen and uh, the voice. Um, so, uh, so during today's session, uh, you will meet me, and I'm a um, full-stack mobile developer. Uh, so I, um, I, I catch both ends, uh, server side and uh, client side, and I do robots. So um, uh, I, started, uh, I started my, uh, my journey with the robotics in 99 um, when, when I was doing research in NASA Ames here in uh, South Bay. Uh, on the virtual reality environment um, to manage robots on Mars. I thought it's an awesome idea, so I, I founded my company uh, five years later. And, um, and since then, I, I managed to sell a few robots, and I came here. And, um, and today, we will see how easily you can turn your device to, uh, to understand emotions. And this is a very simple task to do, so we'll go over that. For those who would like to see uh, from start where we are heading, they can go to the ibm.bs slash 2016 and camel case hacking edu android. And uh, so if it's on the bottom of the page. And, um, and uh, if not, you can also follow me on Twitter. So you can take a picture and a tweet uh, to Blumarek S uh, without E, Blumarek S. And in this wor workshop, we will learn um, how to build a very simple app. Uh, what you need, um, you would need a, a Android Studio. So it works both on, um, um, on Windows, on Macs, and I think on Linux as well. And um, we will learn how to leverage connection to the uh, Watson Developer Cloud to do Watson. For that, you would need um, a Bluemix account. So, um, and uh, we, we will create a very simple app that will analyze the text uh, for the sentiment. And this is the first uh, workshop. The second workshop I'm going to give is on, uh, on the more advanced things like, uh, like getting the speech to text. Uh, so uh, voice user interface for, for me, it's awesome because it's for robots. And I'm trying to power robots with just the voice and uh, understand the various languages and so on. So. Um, so if you have a laptop with you today, and uh, I encourage you uh, to install Android Studio if you haven't done so. So who is going to, uh, to do it with me? All right, everybody almost. And um, so you need Android Studio. Uh, and um, I also work with, uh, with, uh, with iOS. And uh, for, for iOS, usually you need Xcode. For Android, you, you need Android Studio. Um, if you have a um, device, uh, Android device, you can connect it to, the, to your laptop with the cable. Uh, it needs to be a data cable. And there is some trick to, to make your device uh, hackable. Uh, number seven, seven taps is needed in one point of the, of the setup. And, um, but also, if you don't have Android device, uh, I borrowed one. I use uh, mostly iOS devices. Um, so, um, uh, so, so then you can use a virtual one. So with the virtual one, you need to download the, uh, the thing. And um, I guess if everybody starts to download now, uh, Android Studio and, um, and virtual devices, uh, the network will, will be down. 
but you can try. And uh, if you start now, maybe you can finish by um, by the code time. So so then you can achieve what what we what we need. And um, the last thing we will need for this exercise, uh, you need a Bluemix account. And uh, if you don't have one, um, I encourage you to go to the Bluemix.net and um, and just sign up. It takes about 10 minutes, so just about uh, the end of the, of the presentation will be the time you will receive an email. Uh, if you have already signed up for um, for uh, for account uh, with Bluemix and is expired, uh, you need to hack it. So you need to uh, create a new one with a new phone number and new email address. Uh, when I came here, there was uh, nobody. So now I'm very scared. There are so many people. Uh, so uh, uh, do you hear me well at the at the end? Do you see everything very clearly, or um, because we we are going soon to um, uh, to code? So we are going to create a, a native app. Uh, it's a standalone app, and this standalone app in Java. So if you have some skills in Java, it's very similar to uh, web development. Uh, you will see the same architecture of the. Um, of the um, uh, files and, uh, and uh, directories. And we will use uh, standard protocols uh, to connect to the cloud, to the outside world. Uh, what we are going to use, we are going to use a library, SDK, Software Development Kit, to connect to the cloud and uh, connect to the uh, Watson. Watson is a, a cognitive service uh, that IBM uh, uh, provided us with. And, uh, it's, it's awesome to have, um, this service has plenty of uh, various capabilities and you can uh, dig into it and, uh, and leverage it. There are also databases and other resources that you would like to use. But I will, I will expand on that later on uh, during, the, uh, during the workshop, the second workshop advanced class. So um, IBM is providing us with the set of about 18 or 20 uh, services on the cloud. And for the first month after the signing up, um, you can use them for free. So, um, so it's awesome to test what is uh, ahead of entire humanity, in fact, because AI and uh, cognitive services are going to take part in the everyday life from now on. And uh, I'm sure of that because not only robots, uh, uh, you can hack uh, in one day a robot uh, into having a um, voice user interface, recognizing pictures, and so on with these services. Uh, you can aug augment anything, any process. And, um, and let's say uh, you would like to augment the insurance process and, um, and let the robot re recognize, for example, a picture of the broken windshield. So you can do it. And the same is uh, with the emotions, the emotions in the text. So this is a nice car. So uh, emotions is, or, or a sen sentiment of this um, sentence is positive. This is not a nice car. So sentiment in this uh, sentence is uh, negative. And, um, and then uh, this is a car. So it's a neutral sentence. So you will be able to uh, recognize this, uh, this variations of the, of the speech uh, according to Alchemy API. The company IBM acquired, so maybe uh, one time in the future you will create your own company and, uh, and IBM is going to acquire it or other company. So AI is a hot topic, so I want to show you how you can consume um, AI in Android uh, field. And, um, and our, um, our service on this page is, uh, let, me, let me just try to get this over here. Uh, so we are going to use Alchemy API, and this is the service we are going to invoke from the Bluemix. So uh, once more, I encourage you to, to go to the bluemix.net and get the, get the sign up uh, if you don't have it yet working. So uh, now we will start the workshop, and uh, I hope everything works. So If not, we have some resources so we can start with. And, um, so, um, so first thing first, uh, we need to start. Uh, uh, we need to start Android Studio. So I have Android Studio started. It takes about uh, thirty seconds on my on my machine to start Android Studio, and uh, and then 
And then this is the look of the Android Studio with working, uh, uh, working environment. So, so you have a um, couple of things over here. You have um, a window for the, uh, uh, for the debug. It's a console. And then you have uh, the field. It's, um, Android Studio is based on uh, IntelliJ uh, editor. Uh, if anyone uh, had the chance to, uh, to use it, I, I started to use it. It's um, difficult to say in 2002, I think. It's a couple years ago. Um, and it changed now. It really powers the entire environment. So, so you see the, the code is pretty much uh, typical code in Java. So if you did it uh, before, you can see there are some, uh, some, some helpers that can collapse the uh, known uh, elements. And, um, and you type, and this is the structure of our, uh, of our code. So in our example, we have a typical structure. Uh, we have some resources. Uh, we have some uh, Java, so it's a uh, source. And you have manifest for the for the Android, and then you have a library, and you can put some things over here as well. So um, uh, pretty easy to 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 see everything uh, how it looks like, and um, I'm just wondering if I should. Um, yeah, I will. I will try to uh, increase the the size of the screen whenever I'm I'm typing. So let's start with the with the very simple thing. Uh, so I will start a new application. Uh, usually you have the, the choice uh, on the first screen. So I will, I will start a new project. And I will call it um, Hacking Edu 1. And, uh, and this is our application name. So if it's your first application, it's going to, uh, to look like this. And um, let me just ch change the directory. I don't want this to be. Uh, up. So. so I changed the uh, project location. So if your company is um, IBM, uh, you would call it IBM.com. Um, if your company is, uh, like uh, I started up the company called Robotics Inventions. So you, you would type roboticsinventions.com and uh, then your app would, would sit over here. So we click next and then you have a choice to, to set up the environment and minimum SDK required. So I'm using Lollipop as the minimal uh, environment, I think. I think this tablet over here is uh, on a higher level at the moment, but it's uh, so you would like to reach more uh, more of the uh, environments. Let me increase the size. So now, so I hope now we can see it better. Um, then I click next, and uh, this is the the thing you can you can have on on the uh, on 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 the setup. You can start with blank activity. I'm going for the empty activity, and I'm clicking next. Okay, and um, so so I just uh, leave the thing uh, as it is uh, on the defaults. Yeah. If for the SDK, um, are we allowed, should we? Um Use the lowest um, minimum SDK possible for this application. Um, so it's minimal um, minimal uh, level uh, your app is going to work on. So if you if your um, customers are going to use uh, lower level than uh, than selected, they they will not be able to use it. And uh, with the lower le lower you go, less uh, functionality you get. Uh, so this is. Will this functionality work on like a lower um, SDK for this particular versus like this app? Uh, so, what is the lowest? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, 21 should 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 work. 22 is. I would just keep it like this for 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 myself. 23 as well. It's okay. So um so empty activity and um and we finish. So now what's going to happen? Um then the environment is going to bring bring up the uh, uh the. Uh, 
Android Studio is going to bring up the environment. It takes some time, so uh, so we have to uh, stay put and uh, and see how how it builds up. I'm just checking if the the thing is working over here. Okay. So this is the environment, and it's and it loads. You can see uh, on the bottom that. Uh, um, that the tasks are being executed and um, and there are st still two processes running. So uh, when it starts, I get the uh, the thing working and uh, the Gradle build finish in 15 seconds. So uh, so it wasn't too hard. So we created our uh, stub so we can um, we can start to uh, uh, to to test it. The first thing I'm usually doing, uh, just to uh, for the sanity reasons, is running the app on the environment. So, um, so we can. Um, uh, so it tells me that I can run the uh, the application on my uh, Nexus 10 device, which is tablet over here, or uh, because I'm I'm having it connected. So it's the easiest way to to run run the application. Uh, if you have the laptop, it's the fastest. I mean, if you have the device with you. It's the, it's the fastest, and um, how to set up working, um, it's being explained. Uh, let me think, did I, did I put it on, the, on my blog? Um, it's being explained, and um, uh, I will give you later on the, uh, the link how to do it, but it's, uh, if you search on the Google, you can find it. Uh, you have to set up the environment with uh, seven tabs that it turns into the, uh, we, can, we can try to find it uh, quickly. Device. Google device. So this is uh, so uh, so I just went to as you as you you have seen I just typed um, uh, Google device and uh, development and you have the the task you can uh, you you can do so um, so the, this entire setup how you can do it and um, and usually you, what you have to do you have to tap a couple times seven times uh, to make your Android device. Uh, um, ready for the summer this so I, I will not look look into it now uh, if you have any questions I will try to help you uh, later on so um, so I'm not going to use this I'm going to launch emulator so it's uh, if you don't see any emulators here you have to uh, press here and you will be uh, directed to all the virtual devices if you don't have one uh, you have to create your own virtual device and it, it would invoke the procedure. It would download the code, and you can get uh, to your um, uh, to your system level you would like to work with. And I have a Nexus 5 and Nexus 6 over here. So I'm just going to use Nexus 5. So what I what I have done, I just clicked on the start the app. So it's a green uh, green arrow. And um, it should invoke my environment, my uh, my emulator, and um, and I should get the emulator in a couple of seconds running. Hopefully. So Gradle is still building and. Um, So I have the emulator here. So you can see, uh, you can get the uh, device. You just power it up, and um, and it's the time for sip, sipping coffee. So there's a lot of sipping coffee during the process. Uh, Java means coffee, so so it's a good time. And um, so this is so 
in such a way, we created an um, uh, open canvas for, for uh, painting an uh, app. And uh, we are going to do it. Um, uh, you will see it's a very easy process. And, um, and I hope that um, uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we can do it very quickly uh, starting from, from here. So, so we have our, our device. And um, usually what happens after a while, uh, the application is being, being loaded. So we have this command on the bottom, uh, PM install, and um, it gets the device uh, running. So sometimes it's oh okay. So this is our app. So. Uh, Hooray! Uh, we managed to get the Hacking Edu uh, session one up, up there, and uh, it says hello world. So let us see how how I managed to, to do that. So we go to the um, to the resources, and uh, we can see uh, layout over here. And if we double click on the activity main, it should open uh, the environment. Let me let me just uh, drop this. Doesn't want to render. What the heck? So I changed the, uh, the buttons. I, I think I have uh, all the libraries that I wanted. But we have the Hacking Edu one. This is our, uh, this is our phone. And um, now we can, uh, we can start playing with that. So uh, the first thing usually I'm doing, this is our, um, um, our um, uh, label or, or the field that we are going to use for, the, uh, uh, for output of the information. So, so what I'm doing now, I'm trying to resize it to the uh, margins uh, that are showing in the future that, that, that would show the status of the application. And um, first field I would like to add is just the field that in which I'm going to put the, uh, put the text. So let me just increase the size. So, um, so w when building the layout, you can you can find over here various uh, elements, and I'm going to text field, and I'm just going to bring the plain plain text. So this is the, this is going to be a text I'm going to use for the uh, uh, for the sentiment. Okay, and um, I will I will type what what we said in the beginning. This is a nice, nice car. So, so this is the, the, the text we are going to check in the beginning. And uh, there's one more thing I want to add, which is the, the button. And you can change the name. So we have uh, we have button, we have a text field, and we have a status field that is that, is, that we are going to use, and that's it. So this is the the very simple uh, uh, very simple app that that I created now, and we can we can again test it on our device. So our device is uh, still connected, so I can run it there. So app is being uh, redeployed, 
and we have all the uh, information here and you can see that, that it's there. You, you can press the button, you can say it's not a nice car. We have to use this, not a nice car. And, uh, and we are going now to wire the things together. So um, let me go now to the uh, to the development. So we are going now to wire the buttons to the uh, uh, to uh, to the application. It's very hard to type and um, uh, with one hand, but I will try. Um, so first of all, we would like to uh, add text view. This is the, the first field we, we created. Let me go, go there. Uh, so the first field over here, the first field is a text, it's a text view. And we have edit view and a button. So this is the same I'm going to do here. So it's text view. And we are going to call it text text view. So we are just setting up par parameters. And then, so this typ typical way, we have edit view. Oh, excuse me, edit, um, edit text. Um, And we have button. So we have created um, our parameters. Now uh, we would need to uh, to wire the things together. Uh, so so first of all, we have to initialize this. Um, uh, we we would have to initialize our uh, our our uh, um, UI elements. So um, so we can we can type now text view equals and um, we are going to um, to use couple methods over here so it's text view object and we are going to reach uh, to the view so find view by ID and we are going to um, uh, to resources so it's a uh, uh, R and we are going to uh, look by ID, and then um, we are going to get the view text, text view, sorry. So now the, the second thing is, um, uh, the same we are going to do is edit text. So as as you can see, it's it's very simple. Even a one-handed person can uh, can work on that, and um, and in a quite good speed. So so edit text. And uh, so I give you some uh, some advantage here, so you can you can type as well. So so those who are trying with me, at least we can have the same errors after all. So so what I have done, I am uh, I am searching the um, UI elements by um, by our um, uh, our 
by ID and the next thing we are going to do we are going to um, to start a, a activity uh, so as soon as someone is uh, pressing the button we will invoke the um, listener um, so a thread that is going to to wait for the um, wait for the ac action so uh, um, so let me just start that button so we have uh, already um, recommendations set on click listener and um, and we can say new and I just press enter and uh, we have the, the new thing and it you see, it, it all fills out by itself. So it's an um, autom automated action uh, that gives you already immediately the, um, uh, the the response over here. And so we can we can we can write down system system out. So this part is just typical thing we usually do print line. So we are just printing out to the console uh, that. Uh, the action was fired and um, button was pressed. And I hope that's um, okay. I think that's all. And again, we can run it on our on our device. Let me let me just bring up the console. So So when I press the button, you should get the uh, you should get the um, information that this button was pressed. So this is the the first st step we can uh, we can work w work with. And uh, so now now we will go to the to the next uh, next thing, which is uh, invoking the uh, the asynchronous uh, asynchronous task of Watson. So, um, so this is the basic app, and no magic about that. You can create uh, some functionality behind uh, behind that and uh, work with the with the UI. But now we will we will move step forward. So, um, so we'll try to uh, to invoke the uh, the additional um, the additional thread uh, that is going to talk to the Watson. So, very simple task, and uh, I hope it's uh, it's going to be also easy. So, um, any any requests? Water would be good. Yeah. So I will have uh, two things. I w won't be able to speak. So um, so now we are going to create a small class uh, with the task, and um, let me just go over here. So pri we are going to create a private class, and um, and this class is. Um, I will call it Ask Watson. Watson, and it's going to be a, a, a Ask Watson task, and this class is going to extend a async task. Extends async async task, and. Um, And we are going to get a uh, couple things out of it. So, so we are going to use um, string, string void. And string. And now we can uh, we can start uh, getting our uh, our insights of the app. 
Um, so what we are going to do in the background thread, uh, we are going to just uh, um, we are just going to to give some uh, some test sentiment. So uh, imagine a situation when you have the uh, this uh, this app. We are going to uh, to send it to analyze and background thread uh, for this um, device is going to uh, to search in the internet some results. So uh, because of that, I need an asynchronous task. And this asynchronous task is going to, to be the background thread. So um, and the threads are the main thread that runs UI, and the background thread that is uh, having a less priority uh, to UI, to all the activities you, uh, you do on the, on the device. So I'm going to do override. And I'm going to, to create a protected class that is going to re return the string. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah thanks. I, I'm fine. And um, so this is do in background. No. In background, and uh, we are going to uh, to pass string strings, in fact, and um, and we will pass the text to analyze. So this is the 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 strings um, uh, that we are going to pass to the app, and uh, we are going to analyze the strings which are happening here. And uh, we can say um, so. We can uh, first of all we can we can pass the information what kind of um, uh, what kind of string we have. So system out. So just as for the sanity reasons, usually I am uh, putting a lot of um, things to to see if anything is happening and. We can pass and then we can say what kind of text we have. So, um, so our text over here, it's um, we are going to analyze the text from the uh, from our um, uh, our text field. So this edit field, and um, so we, we are just going to use one of the uh, com uh, methods, which is get text, and. Yeah, there is one one more um, one more thing that you can uh, also do over here, uh, which is uh, uh, bring something to um, uh, to the uh, UI when when we are working. But I'm not going to do it. Um, you will see it in the uh, in the uh, GitHub that I will leave you with. Uh, that you can also communicate back to the from the background thread uh, to the uh, to the UI. And uh, you can you can change this um, you can change the thread, but just for the uh, for the sake of this exercise, we are not going to do it. So what is what is the challenge? I'm fine with everything. I have water. The microphone is turned on. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm having a low voice. I think yeah, one two three. Don't worry. I have also this all session recorded, pre-recorded on YouTube, so you can uh, you can watch it after after the session and follow it, uh, and you can hear my voice forever, <laughs> <laughs> which is always funny uh, to my wife, especially when I'm uh, recording things, because always uh, my colleagues are complaining: is is this again laundry machine or uh, no? Dishwasher working in the background. I said, yeah, yeah, of course. So, um, 
I am adding just a string sentiment uh, just to get the information. Um, senti sentiment that we are going to use over here, and the sentiment is going to um, to tell us um, what is the sentiment of the um, uh, of the message and uh, sentiment equals and. Now we can we can just type anything, so it's it we can say it's a test, and um, so you can say it's a test sentiment. Okay, and um, next next last step is um, um, we are going to pass this result to, to the UI, so return, and we are just passing back the sentiment. And um, what what's going to happen between here and there, uh, we can say, um, over here we are going to uh, ask, ask Watson. So external uh, external service. And uh, what what's going to happen? We are going to exit this uh, this thread eventually, and um, and now we have to set up the value. So we are setting up uh, the value on the UI. You cannot do it uh, inside of this thread except for the small uh, hint I will uh, I have given to you um, in the uh, GitHub, so a repository on the internet. But uh, we are going setting up UI with uh, with with result. So so how to do it? Uh, we are just um, going to override again. Override, and we are going to override the uh, um, do post post. Do uh, on um, post execute. We we are going to um, to show our uh, our result. So protected void and uh, on post execute. And we are going to pass over here result. And this result is the, um, uh, the text we are going to, uh, to set up. So text, text view. And uh, we can set now, set the text of the, um, on our label or our status field. And uh, we can say the sentiment. And we can uh, we can add over here our result. So this is the result we are we are getting from over here. So um, all right, and uh, that should be and that should be all at the moment. And um, uh, what we need um, now, I think, uh, just. <coughs> so now we can add, uh, add the, the task over here and um, to our code. So just when the um, we can we can create the method with the uh, with the film. So um, so ask what's on task. And And this, uh, this, so it's inside of the, when we click the button, we instantiate the task, uh, which is a background uh, thread. And uh, it's just a new, um, new object. And we are going to, um, we are going to execute this task, so uh, start it. And we are going to pass a string 
array is going to be empty at the moment. So Yeah, it's a new class, so. So now, uh, um, one of the first trips to states I made to uh, Las Vegas, this is a Las Vegas mood. You never know what, what kind of weather is outside. Is it a day or night? Uh, you always have this. Uh, programming mood, so I like it, like it in Las Vegas because of that. You can always program over there. Okay, so we have, uh, we have our, I think it's already uh, uh, initialized, so we just create here. And um, first of all, we see the sentiment is um, test sentiment. And um, we, have, um, we have all our um, system out printouts uh, here, so... Um, we just printed out what we are uh, having as a uh, as a edit text. This this edit text over here is uh, uh, is this this is nice car. So um, so this is the first part, and now we are ready to invoke the uh, the uh, the blue mix. So uh, since we started with the delay, now we have. So this is uh, this is what what usually you have to uh, start with when you create an app, and um, and what we said we have ten minutes, uh, and in ten minutes we are going to enable this app to understand the sentiment of this message we created. So we set up everything, and now I will show you how quickly you can uh, integrate with the with the Watson. So first thing you need to do you have to go to this Blue Mix. So um, how you go into the Bluemix, you just type uh, bluemix.net. And uh, if you don't uh, log in, uh, you have to log in. And uh, I logged in already, so I'm here. And you will see the dashboard. And you would go to the catalog. And... Um, you have plenty of various services, so you can you can build the services for um, uh, for uh, for backend of the application for web applications. It's a platform as a service, so you just need to deploy the app. Over here, you can uh, one of the app or services you you can have it's Watson, and all Watson has has like about 18, 20 services out there. And the service we are going to use is Alchem API. I will go over more of these services on the advanced session. So uh, this one with the kind of uh, dark yellow and blue uh, thing over here is uh, one we are going to use. What, we need, what you need to do, you need to create the service. And uh, when you create the service, um, it's going to pop up. And um, so you can leave it with th these names. I will not do it uh, just to give you the, uh, the, we don't have the time to, to wait until it's done. It takes about uh, one minute, two minutes. But then you will go to, the, uh, to your services and you will see um, alchemy like this one. And what you what you are looking over here? These are cre credentials and um, and connections. So, for example, this one has connections over here. And um, in order to get to get the information, you have to bind it usually with with other applications. So um, I have it here, and what we can uh, what we can see it's um, connections, and I can view the credentials over here. So I see the credentials for, for, for this, and this is what we are going to need, um, in fact, in order to run the app. 
So I'm just going to copy it, it over. And this is one of the steps you need to do. So if you are having a problem later on, just come over to me. I will show you how to do it. But you need the uh, Bluemix in order to, to, to run it. And uh, so this is the first thing. So let me just uh, ask, ask what's on service. So, so these are our credentials. This is API key or token to the app. The, the next thing you need is just this library or SDK. And SDK is just a simple thing. Um, so what I do, I, I type Watson in the search field, developer, developer, and cloud. And, um, and it, it gives me um, uh, Watson developer cloud uh, search. But what we, what we are looking for, we are looking for GitHub. And uh, one of the extensions for the GitHub is Java SDK. So it's second one over here. And this is SDK is library through which you can uh, invoke the code. And, um, and what you need to do, you can install this, this library through various methods. Um, the, easiest, the easiest method is just to download the, the jar. And um, usually what, this is what I'm doing. But you can also get um, Gradle and just add the library. And it's going to um, deploy it by, uh, by the process of the, of, of the entire solution. But I'm going to do it the simplest way. So um, let me see if, if we can download it right, right here. So if you, if you find something like this, that means uh, my colleagues didn't deploy the jar. And, uh, uh, but we can, uh, we can use my hacking edu. And uh, I should have it over here. Let me go there. So uh, hacking edu um, San Francisco. And if you go here, I will give you the, uh, the, the link. So you can go to the intro, which is uh, sentiment analysis. And I have a link as well, I think, here. That was working. Maybe it's working again. OK, so, so I will be ending. So, um, so there is a small addition. Um, let me just, uh, I have uh, one minute. OK. So, um, so you can you can come up over here and you can get the library fr from here. So you, if you click, you should you should get it. So it downloads. Okay, it's there. And then you need to add a, a couple fields more. So um, so unfortunately, I'm not going to do it now. But uh, if you are interested how to do it, uh, you can watch the video. And uh, and the video is supposed to be. Let me see if it works. So this is uh, under the step two. Follow this link to see the video. Okay, so now we can add and uh, you can hear my voice again. So, um, uh, so you, you will be able to, to, uh, to see how I'm doing that. It's a very simple process. Uh, um, I hope you enjoyed the, the session. I, I will just give you at, um, our uh, assignment. So uh, as soon as you are done with the, with the app, um, uh, there is an assignment for this uh, for uh, for this session, and the assignment is uh, uh, create an app that checks the sentiment uh, of the text inserted in the edit field after pushing the button. And uh, if you want to do it, uh, you have all the instructions in um, uh, in this repository, 2016 Hacking Edu Android. So on that, I would like to thank you very much, and uh, and um, and uh, good luck with the with the assignment. Starting workshop session two. Over here, we're having.